Hi, I'm Van Helker of Waterline Boats and Boatshed Port Townsend. Today I'll be giving you a video walkthrough of this 1986 Grand Banks 42. This Grand Banks 42 has been moored undercover in this privately owned boathouse, which is also separately available for sale. The salon is well lit and bright, owing to light colored teak cabinetry and joinery and large clear glass windows. This seating area converts into a single berth and the settee opposite converts into a double berth. The galley is laid out with an under counter refrigerator, storage, a sink with cutting board covers and a force 10 three burner propane stove. An under counter freezer is located further aft in the salon. I appreciate the ventilation fan above the stove, the white countertops which make the space feel bright, and the built-in storage for glassware. Located a few steps down and aft from the main cabin is the master stateroom. Master stateroom is laid out with a single berth to port with drawers underneath. A double berth lies to starboard and this berth was recently outfitted with a Tempur-Pedic mattress. The aft cabin has its own private entryway, which exits to the aft deck. This is a very roomy cabin, and I appreciate the full height mirror at the forward end of the stateroom. The master cabin also has its own walk-in closet. Charts, or as shown here, window covers, can be stored under the double berth. The master head compartment, like so much of the rest of the boat, has large windows and is a bright space. It has a wash basin, a marine toilet, and a separate shower stall. The layout of this vessel is excellent for cruising with company and the forward cabin is configured with a V-berth arrangement, just right for sleeping, too. There's storage underneath the V-berth, and an overhead custom deck hatch lets in light and fresh air. This stateroom also has a good size hanging locker and its own head compartment with wash basin, marine toilet, and shower. The lower helm station is equipped with a Garmin multifunction display, engine gauges and controls, and a classic wooden helm. The skipper can sit in this upholstered bench seat or stand while underway. A side door is located next to the helm station and offers access to the side decks. The varnished cap rails and handrails on this vessel absolutely gleam. The stanchions supporting the handrails are stainless steel. 1986 was the first year that Grand Banks incorporated these stainless stanchions. Decks are teak. Here's a look at that custom hatch for ventilation and light for the forward stateroom. The side decks, protected by railings, provide good access all around the vessel from the bow to the stern through either side door or up to the flybridge via these steps. The exterior teak decks on this Grand Banks 42 appear to be in excellent condition thanks again to decades of boathouse storage. The flybridge is spacious and laid out with fixed bench seating and two freestanding chairs. A canvas bimini offers protection from the weather. The upper helm is configured with engine controls and instruments, a traditional spoked wooden helm, and bench seating for the skipper. Continuing our walk through around the vessel, we approach the aft deck. Two hatch covers can be hinged open to access the lazarette, which houses the potable water tanks and offers a good amount of storage. This 300 pound Roskelly Olsen transom davit is used to deploy the Kareev inflatable. 
The inflatable also comes with a 15 horsepower Evinrude outboard. Also included, but not currently installed, are a crane and shocks for hoisting and storing the dinghy on the deck above the aft cabin. I think the combination of varnished teak, stainless steel, bronze deck fittings, and natural teak decks is absolutely striking. Opening hatches in the teak parquet interior deck provide access to the engine room. This vessel is powered by two Ford Lehman SP-135 six-cylinder 135 horsepower 6.22 liter engines. The seller of this vessel was the owner of a marine engine service company for many years and the engine room is clean and well thought out. Considerable effort has gone into soundproofing the engine room. Visible while the camera pans is the automatic fire extinguishing system, the starboard fuel tank, the fuel distribution manifold, and Cummins Onon 8KW genset, and the port fuel tank. And looking forward, we see the water heater and the expansion tank, a blower, and components of the Webasto AT55 forced air diesel heater. Wiring and batteries are located to the starboard side of the engine room. This vessel is equipped with two 8D house batteries and one 4D starting battery. The availability of the boathouse for sale as a separate transaction also presents an excellent opportunity. Thanks to the care and attention that has been put into this beautiful boat over the years, and the thoughtful upgrades and equipment replacements that have been made by the seller, there is nothing obvious to me that needs to be done prior to enjoying this Grand Banks 42. If you have any questions or would like to make an offer, reach out to Van Helker at Waterline Boats and Boatshed Port Townsend.